Hey, RCA Church and others, happy Wednesday. Thanks for joining us here uh, today. You know, one thing I really like to do on Wednesdays midweek is to look forward to the weekend, what the Lord has in store for us here at RCA Church, and look back at what He has just accomplished in, in the previous weekend. And, you know, I spoke a message on Sunday entitled The Soul Room. And uh, wow, I encourage you to go back and check that out uh, on Facebook or YouTube. And it's uh, just kind of on the principle that we all have a house with the same square footage. And that's an analogy of our life. And what I mean by square footage is we all have the same uh, number of days in the week, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. We all have the same access uh, to God through the Lord Jesus Christ. We're all on an equal footing, but all of our houses have different floor plans. And our floor plan is based on our priority and how we uh, prioritize and arrange our time and the activities in our life. And uh, we looked at the playroom where we like to hang out and have fun. We looked at our friends room where we like to connect with others. We looked at our work room and most people have a pretty big work room unless you've been retired and, and we spent a lot of time and effort and energy there. Um, we even have a church room and I see a lot of you guys in the church room on Sundays and on Wednesdays and that's a great room and I'm glad you show up and hang out in there with me and that's an important room but it's not the most important room. The most important room is the soul room. That's where you connect with Jesus one-on-one. -on -one. That's where you have this incredible life-giving interaction, this beauty for ashes trade that God does with you. It's where you come in contact with His Spirit and His Word. It's where you're convicted of your sin. It's where divine direction and wisdom and comfort are given. It is the place of connection that we all must have with our Creator. I want to ask you a question. How does your soul room look? Maybe you've got things going on in all the other rooms. Maybe your church room is decorated really nicely. But how is the soul room? Is it bare? Is it small? Is it, is it neglected? Is it forgotten? Uh, is, is the door to it locked? Is the last time you've been in there years ago? Uh, I just want to tell you the soul room is where all the power flows from and, and through into all the other rooms of your life. You know, if you look at a ranch house, it's kind of cut up and, you know, you've got all these rooms in different places. But if we order our lives with the soul room at the center and all the other rooms around it, that is going to be a powerful life. I just want to challenge you and encourage you. Um, we're to guard our hearts. We're to guard our souls because the word says from it flow um, the wellsprings of life. From it flow everything out of that. And so my challenge to you this week is to look at your life and look at your soul and the condition of your soul and are, do you have a life-giving connection with Jesus Christ? And if you don't, to get into your soul room, to establish that as the centerpiece, the, the thing of gravity that holds everything else in orbit in your life and put the Lord first and then let everything else fall into place. You know, as you rearrange the floor plan of your life according to your new priorities, you're going to step into a new way of living, and it's going to be powerful. I just want to encourage you. The Word says in Isaiah 40, 31, those who wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. Get into the soul room. Get into God's presence. Wait on Him and see what He does in your life. You'll be glad you did. And I hope you'll join us tonight at 7 p.m. right here at RCA Church for the best night of the week. we got something great for kids and youth and adults. Join us here then. We'll see you soon.